In several countries across the world, electric vehicles are now making a statement. European countries like Norway, Iceland, and Sweden seem to have given credence to the booming EV sector. But quite surprisingly, EVs have been a hard sell in the States. Yeah, you heard that right. If you're American, you probably know what I'm talking about. But for the rest of you asking questions like, why is a booming invention like EV struggling to find its place in the States? Why isn't America making an effort to capitalize on this brand new arrival in the automobile industry? Watch till the end to discover the real reason why EVs are struggling in the US. The United States is the second largest manufacturer of automobiles in the world. The US holds up to 12% of the total global market share. I'll tell you why these statistics are important to us. All other big names in the automobile industry, such as China, Japan, and Germany, have successfully ventured out into manufacturing EVs. EVs are here to stay. They may be the future of transportation. The US is known for its innovations. These guys are always spearheading something new and somehow also manage to make it sell. Other countries then lead by their example. They make the same things as them and attempt to sell it to their countrymen. This has been the way of the world for decades, centuries even. Americans have not been very welcoming to the prospect of EVs on their roads. Let's try and understand the minds of the American people. Uh, American dreams? Well, I'm no Freud to analyze their dreams, so instead, here's a quick rundown of the reasons why EVs aren't taking off in the US. First things first, electric cars are pretty expensive for the average buyer in the United States. Batteries are the most important component to build an EV, and batteries are expensive. Hence, EVs are also expensive. Pretty simple, right? It's at this point that countries like China enter the scene. China is somehow managing to manufacture EVs for only a fraction of the price offered by the US. You'll see why China is relevant in the US EV market later on in this video. A big challenge to EV adoption in the US is building feasible charging infrastructure. Traditional gasoline stations can refuel a car within minutes, but charging an EV takes a longer period of time comparatively, and EV charging stations are much less common in the United States. Everything new is a work in progress. The US is making amends to set up more charging stations in its cities. But at present, many EV owners are daunted by the challenge of finding a charging station for their cars. And this is dissuading even more potential customers to move away from EVs. Specifically, rural and suburban areas in the US are at a lack of charging stations. Old but gold, classic but timeless. Well, it looks like a lot of American car owners believe in this. For a minute, let's put the money and infrastructure challenges associated with EV aside. Many Americans appear to prefer the IC engines over the trendy EVs. One survey discovered that 53% of Americans preferred gasoline-powered vehicles over electric. Notably, this survey showed that older generations, those who are 55 and above, were most likely to be dissuaded from purchasing an electric car. The rationale behind this is quite simple. Americans have been driving gas cars for decades. Gas cars have a long history of reliability and good memories for Americans. We can say that the older Americans are holding on to the loud nostalgia of gas cars. EVs, well, they're just a tad bit too quiet. Hold on, there's a valuable takeaway for the EV sector from here. Reliability. Americans are preferring gasoline cars because they are reliable and they've been so for years. If EVs in the US work on establishing reliability, they could up their sales game by several points. There's a lot of anxiety in the United States. In fact, statistics show that almost 6.8 million American adults suffer from anxiety. Buying a car in the US is anxiety inducing. Driving one too. Learner drivers, we see you. Quick advice, it gets better. And now back to EVs. Oh, you're asking me what the hell range anxiety is? Let me break it down for you. Uh, let's not break it down. That's the fear. Breaking down is the fear. Range anxiety is a term used to describe the fear an electric car driver experiences when they believe that there is insufficient battery to reach their destination. In simple terms, it's the fear of your car breaking down in the middle of nowhere. 
Statistically speaking, EV car drivers are okay. This fear is largely exaggerated. But the thought of anything with the slightest possibility of going haywire is pretty off-putting, right? The overthinkers have united. Remember that I mentioned earlier that China plays a very important role in driving America's EV sales? China has the uncanny ability to sell almost anything cheaper than the rest of the world, thanks to the sheer size of the Chinese market and cheap labor. China has also been one of the first countries to jump on the EV bandwagon. The electric vehicle industry in China is the largest in the world. It currently accounts for a whopping 58% of the global production of electric vehicles. But how is this relevant to the US? Here is your answer. China has been able to sell EVs at a significantly lower price than American manufactured EVs. This means that the average buyer is likely to choose a Chinese EV over an American one for two times less the price. These low-priced Chinese EVs are posing a threat to homegrown American brands. And as a result, US automakers, despite investing billions to produce these electric cars, remain defeated at the hands of the Chinese. Several lawmakers in the US are firmly opposed to the idea of allowing Chinese EVs to seep through the American auto industry. The Alliance for American Manufacturing has warned that low-priced Chinese EVs pose a potentially extinction-level event for the American auto industry. But others have a different opinion. Some suggest that an influx of ultra-low-priced Chinese EVs could accelerate US electric vehicle purchases, speed up the investment in charging stations, and force prices to go down. Only last month, American President Joe Biden drastically raised the tariff on Chinese EVs, from the 27.5% established under former President Donald Trump to 102.5%. This is an attempt meant to price even the bargain-priced China-made BYD Siegel out of the US market. EVs are also taking off in several European countries. And the Europeans are worried too. The Chinese have given everybody quite the jitters. The European Union says that it plans to impose tariffs of up to 31.8% on Chinese EVs for four months starting in July this year. We can say that the US is trying its absolute best to win the EV race. But it's to be noted that Chinese EVs are already being exported to the US through Mexico. On top of this, BYD, Cherry, and at least one other Chinese automobile giant are scouting places to establish manufacturing plants in the United States. Only time can tell the fate of the American EVs. The stakes are high, but so are the rewards. For now, that's the update on how American EVs are faring in the market. What's one thing that American automakers can do to move ahead in the battle of the EVs? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video informative, you know the drill. Please like, share, and subscribe for more.